There's a number of reasons why we all come to this work. One, uh, we know from our own personal experience how valuable it is to be connected to nature, to be out in nature. We know what that's like. For me, I, uh, I'm the mayor of Grand Rapids, but I didn't grow up in Grand Rapids. I actually grew up in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. I grew up right on the shores of Lake Superior, our largest and deepest and coldest lake. Uh, and I grew up in a family of 10. So I have six brothers and three sisters, and we're all just a year apart. So there was 10 of us in this little house, four bedroom house. And for me, nature was my escape uh, of the chaos in my house. So I was outdoors a lot. In fact, I think my parents kind of pushed us outside almost every day to get us out of the house. Um, but I really grew up with this deep, deep appreciation for um, the outdoors and space and quiet and uh, really had this emotional connection. Uh, and, then, and then growing up in the UP, you are outside a lot learning about all kinds of things. You know, you're getting pulled out of bed at 2 a.m. to come look at the northern lights. And, you know, you're hiking up, you know, different hills and, you know, walking down the trails of old logging. And so it just became part of who I was. Um, and then my background is social work. So I, before becoming mayor, I spent about 20 years in child welfare. I uh, worked a lot initially. Uh, I did a lot of individual clinical work with kids and then ended up leading a nonprofit for abused kids. And even in that work, one of my goals was how do I create a sanctuary for children? How do I get them out of this space and outside and help them realize that there's, um, there's a peace that comes with being outside and that there, we all know, and I don't have to tell you the research um, because you all know it already and you're gonna talk about it, I'm sure, throughout the day about the impact that nature has on children emotionally and socially um, and physically. Uh, and so that was some of my experience coming into becoming mayor. And then it was five years ago that I was in St. Paul as this network came together. I was actually mayor-elect, so it was before I was actually sworn in, and I learned more about connecting children to nature and the work that was being done. Um, heard from the mayor himself about the great work that they were doing and how he was able to integrate this as a priority into his administration. And that was a, uh, it was really a moment where I had time to reflect and think about, okay, as I step into this role as mayor, how do I make sure that this is integrated into every single thing that I do? Whether it was around violence prevention or crime prevention or affordable housing or racial equity, how do I make sure that children and families are at the heart of that, but also that we're talking about the importance of connecting children to nature. As I said, I don't do anything in isolation. I do it in partnership with a great team at the city. We also have an amazing team in partnership with our Grand Rapids Public Schools. Um, a lot of the work that we've been able to accomplish is because of those partnerships, as well as the partnerships we have with a whole host of amazing nonprofits in our community that I'm deeply, deeply grateful for. I was in uh, Minnesota and I heard about this amazing book. I'm sure many of you have it and have read it. And it really inspired me uh, as I started to look at my priorities uh, my first term. And uh, my priorities going into my very first State of the City speech, which uh, was back in 2016. And so again, I'm very, very grateful for NLC, for Cliff, for the entire team uh, at NLC, but also the entire team at uh, Connecting Children to Nature. My hope for all of you is that you think about ways that you can get your elected officials more actively engaged. Uh, you know, for me, there's, there's, there's a way that you can articulate how important this work is to all of the other priorities in the city. I, I personally don't see them as mutually exclusive. Uh, you know, my philosophy is, is you need all of these pieces working together to have a great city, that there's, there's an intertwining between all of these issues and truly children are at the heart of it. Uh, and so I think there's a way, you know, if you're struggling to get uh, some of the support that you hope for this important work, I think there's a way to articulate it. And then also to, to I'm happy to talk to any mayor about this work, um, you know, point to other cities and other mayors and other elected officials. I know that's what inspired me five years ago. Uh, I didn't really have a clue stepping into mayor, um, how I was gonna accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish. Uh, and hearing from other mayors that were right here in this space five years ago, uh, really helped me start to figure out how I was going to do it and how I was going to make it happen. 
Um, and then as I said, you need a great team. So all of you know that. Anyway, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for your work. Thank you for your heart and your passion and for doing this important work throughout our country and really elevating the importance of nature. So thank you.